Hi guys, um, here's my review today of the Harry Potter limited edition um, collection and um, this is the UK version 19 discs um, it includes all 8 films hours of special features and a collectible photo album and here's the, what it looks like um, before I take, undo the wrapping you get um, all the movies and that's a picture of the uh, the book there which is very nice and uh, you get bonuses of blowing up Hogwarts and when Harry left Hogwarts and J.K. Rowling, a conversation with J.K. Rowling and Daniel Radcliffe uh, the Goblins of Gringotts, the Women of Harry Potter, Warner Brothers Studio Tour London and additional scenes and uh, it's a limited edition this is, uh, this is 2,900 of 25,000 and um, I think that that's, it seems a big number, but um, as we know, there's um, millions of Harry Potter fans out there, just in this country. So, um, you know, it's still going to be quite a collector's item. Uh, so I'm going to open it up now and uh, have a look inside. Okay, the, f the first thing is that um, it's covered in uh, cardboard. So all the promotional material um, can be removed. So let's take this off here. Just got to be careful. Wow. One second, I will be back. Okay, the glue is very adhesive too. This is like a a hardened um, cardboard material, um, and the glue is very adhesive and uh, if you're not careful um, with that it is going to take the surface off so um, be very uh, careful when you're taking the cardboard off as the glue is very adhesive and the same here at the bottom it is uh, very very sticky and I think any um, really you really pull that hard you know it's going to rip it off but uh, there you go um, so it's not it's great um, they've actually well done to Warner Brothers I don't think this is uh, entertainment in video um, distribution actually so that's probably why it's a lot better than uh, the normal type of um, box set we get from oh there's Harry Potter in the back that looks great um, <coughs> It's normally better. That's a bit wonky though. They could have done that straight for crying out loud. But um, yeah. Normally you get age ratings all over these. I mean you've seen my uh, Lord of the Rings box set review. And uh, I wasn't impressed because of all the age rating stuff over it. But they actually learnt this time. And I think it might be down to the fact that. As I said. Uh, entertainment and video. I don't see any of um, anything from them shown that they're responsible for this. So that might be the. The main reason why it uh, isn't um, as r ruined as the Lord of the Rings one with all the age ratings all over it. So uh, yeah, that's a lot better. That's why I want cardboard that I can take off and cast away and actually have a decent box set to look at. But uh, yeah, bit of a bummer with the sticker there on the wonk. Could have been a bit better. It's kind of like a... Um, I might give it a go and see if I can straighten that. But uh, let's have a look inside. Okay, so let's open it up and have a look inside. Oh, it's making a noise. I don't like that. But um, yeah, it's a pretty fantastic um, picture inside. I have to say, it's really glossy and uh, the artwork is amazing. You've got um, Lord Voldemort there. Um, this is obviously in the final part of the last movie. Um, the final showdown between Harry Potter and Lord Voldemort. Um, you got Bella Lestrange and uh, Lucius Malfoy and uh, Hermione and um, <laughs> Ron. Bear with me here. I'm trying to make sure I don't make any mistakes and get names wrong. Um, if I have, you you've got every right to tell me off and put that in the comments. But um, yeah, it's absolutely wonderful wonderful uh, artwork and um,
just has a I don't know if it really shows off in the video but it's just really um, a lovely glossy effect so it's, it's a lovely box set so far um, here we have the booklet and um, it's very nice let's have a look see if there's any stuff in artwork inside oh yes artwork on the film um, it's lovely lovely and glossy and shiny um, pictures of the film and just a really nice collector's item don't want to show you too much because obviously um, it's a nice surprise for everyone when they're buying the set to look through it themselves okay so it comes in two compartments this is years six and seven so we'll We'll start in chronological order. So here is years one to five. And uh, we've got the picture there of Hogwarts with the children heading towards it. I think that was from the second film, if uh, memory serves. Um, and uh, this is a, a sort of a flimsier type of material, but uh, it's still nicely, nicely done like a digi uh, digi book type style here we are we've got Harry Potter in years one two scenes from the films uh, five and obviously that will be three four on the other side and uh, wow all lovely picture discs so um, here we go that's the blu-ray of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone there's a picture of Harry in his first year and um, it's the same picture on the uh, DVD disc above it so um, there you go that's the picture disc of the Chamber of Secrets here is the picture disc of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix okay so there you go that is the complete picture with the whole of the digi book um, unraveled and you can see it all, all uh, sort of comes together we've got uh, all the characters from um, from their relevant films but they kind of like uh, make up a nice montage so it's it's very nice this is a wonderful presentation, I have to say. Let's go down a bit. There you go. Okay, and now here we are at uh, year six and seven. And we have... Uh, oh, well, let me show you the pictures, of course. Here's year um, seven, part two. And we've got year six and year seven, part one. So uh, there you go, that's how all the discs are displayed. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at the discs themselves. Here's Harry Potter um, and the Half Blood Prince. Uh, the DVD, as you can see, is the same, but we do have another. Harry Potter and Half Blood Prince um, Blu ray disc. Um, we have a Harry Potter and the uh, Deathly Hallows Part 1. That's the picture disc there. We have um, oh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows as a DVD. Uh, that's Part 1. And we have Harry Potter um, and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 Special Features. Blu-ray um, and we have obviously part two of the Deathly Hallows and um, this is the Blu-ray uh, of um, special features for the Deathly Hallows part two and the DVD of course in the back there so excellent Let's uh, have a look at the picture behind all and the discs. So once again, we have uh, 
a collection of um, different scenes in all the movies relevant to which uh, film uh, disc is on which picture so we have uh, like in this order there you go okay so while it's a nice a very nice set and it looks amazing the major gripe I have is they didn't put a magnet here so this doesn't shut properly so if you leave it like that it kind of flips open a little bit I mean it's obviously uh, not a problem if you you know have something propped up against it um, the sticker being wonky is another another thing that um, is a bit of a pain you can pose it like that I suppose but um, yeah I mean that's one way of posing it but I mean you know box sets really should have a magnet there that's um, something that Lord of the Rings has and uh, I just can't believe they uh, missed it out here on uh, the Harry Potter set. It's a bit of a disappointment. But saying that, I mean, the films are great um, from part three onwards. Um, I do find one and two a little bit childish, but um, they're still good fun, you know, and they're good fun for getting the, you know, the, good re the reason that one and two are okay, because obviously if you want to get children into, into the series, one and two, they're more for children. And um, obviously that gets them into the uh, the series itself. So it's a great set. And um, I hope my wife's going to be happy with it on Christmas Day. She doesn't watch my videos. So <laughs> I know she's not going to find out about this. Anyway, I'll catch you later, guys.